Hi, Andrea here. Welcome back to my workshop. This time I'm gonna talk to you about some gems I found. When I usually order stuff made in China, it's made in China and you uh, usually get what you paid for. Now for these little planes I paid a little more, over $30, and I got five of them with different profiles. And these are really uh, well-made planes from uh, some dark wood, which looks like ebony to me. Uh, and they are really nicely uh, ground and they are nicely sanded. Now the brass piece is very nice and thick, the lever cup is very nice and thick and the blade is also quite thick for this kind of planes. Uh, the steel is of a good quality, but we'll check it on stone and we'll see what the stone says about them. So the first plane is the flat bottom plane. It's a normal little plane with the angle that looks like something like 45 degrees. The next one is the concave one, also with the angle of the knife at 45 degrees. Then I have the con convex one, yeah I think it's convex, uh, concave, convex, help me out if I get it wrong, so yeah, I think it's convex one, uh, also the blade at 45 degrees, uh, like you see here. Then this little bullnose plane that is used to cut some dowels or to go into the corners where you cannot reach nicely. And then the final one is the scraper plane. The angle is almost at 90 degrees and this is great for making some cuts in very figured woods. So let's try to sharpen this up, but before I do that I will actually try it without sharpening, so you can see the difference. I haven't done anything to this plane and I will try as it came from the box. Oh! Oh man! What? Okay, that works. Okay, let's tune them up, let's sharpen them up and then see the difference that it makes. I wrote it, but I also said that this is not a sponsored video and I paid fully for the planes. I really like them and I think these are really nice mini planes for a great price. The steel sharpens easily and the edge lasts for a long time. I think it's between the O1 and A2 steel hardness and edge retention. While I'm sharpening I want to thank my Patreons for supporting my channel. If you'd like to become my Patreon, you'll get exclusive content and some giveaways that are special to my Patreons. That's usually the stuff I make in the workshop. Thank you so much. I removed some sharp edges on the inside and I also flattened the bottoms with 220 grit sandpaper on a sheet of glass. Finally, I applied some furniture wax on them and I buffed it out. To set up the correct amount of cut, uh, it's the best to set it with a small hammer. Oh yes! This is white oak. I absolutely love how these planes cut the end grain. It makes a full shaving that falls apart in hand.
I hope you found this video useful and if you buy these little planes uh, you will have to do a little of prep work to make them work in really fine. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will enjoy the planes as well. Please subscribe and thanks for watching. They come with these stickers that I eventually removed them all. They were uh, easy to remove, uh, not really. They're a little bit of chinglish. Uh, plain body is made of high edony and rosewood. For high quality handicraft woodwork, especially for trimming and polishing, the edges for beautiful finishing. And you also can treat it as an article. You can treat it as an article. What the? That means, yeah.